friend of mine today posted a comical, unflattering photo of her twin on Instagram. Weird thing is, I've never met her twin, and when I saw the comical photo of her twin on her Instagram, I assumed it was her. The weird thing about making fun of your twin on Instagram is that those who don't really know your twin or don't don't know the both of you well enough to see the difference between both of you will assume that <laughs> it was a, a comical photo of you and I found that doubly comical first for the photo itself and secondly because I thought it was her making fun of herself and as always I just have to look at things deeper and it made me think about how when we make fun of others we are somehow making fun of ourselves because while those of us who are not twins do not have someone who looks identical almost to us we are all in some way similar to each other it's just a matter of degrees so whenever we poke fun or ridicule a person whom in our eyes we might think are different from us we are in the end shaming ourselves it's just like I was watching a YouTube video today where Gordon Ramsay was a guest on a talk show and the host I can't remember who someone forgettable because it wasn't Conan O'Brien called him an Englishman and someone in the comments dissed Gordon Ramsay saying that he's just a Scottish man don't try and be an Englishman and that is a distinction that is while not indistinguishable by me is quite irrelevant to me so while well, an Englishman and a Scottish man might fight over cultural superiority for someone halfway around the world it's irrelevant you just look the same <laughs> you're just Brits From a distance, the differences fade away and they hardly matter. It's when we're close up to each other and we look for points of differentiation that we find them. But actually we are pretty much the same at the core. Uh, in fact, it was an old British Airways campaign that I remember very well and the tagline of it was that um, there are more things that bring us together than keep us apart and the campaign consisted of similar cultural attributes from people of different parts of the world so maybe this is why Jesus commanded us to love our enemies because our enemies are with the right perception actually not that much different from us while we might be diametrically opposed in terms of politics or economics or race at the base, we all want 
justice, at least for ourselves. We all want economic prosperity, at least how we define it. Ultimately, we all want to be loved. That love might look different, but we all want it. We all want to be loved, ultimately. So don't make fun of uh, someone that looks ridiculous to you because he or she is actually, in a spiritual way, your twin.